Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk about lipstick wear tests. So this week I went about and used three lip colors that I hadn't used before that were in my collection. So this one happened to be an IGXO uh, matte liquid lipstick. And I really did like this product. It had staying power, even after eating and drinking. That's what it looked like by the end of the day. The color is a little dark, but it really did stay on. Um, for Tuesday, I tried a Pure Cosmetics product that came in a mystery bag that I purchased back in May and this one is in shade fever as you can see it's kind of like a deep red but by the end of the day it was pretty well gone and that one actually stained a little bit I noticed but I'll get a little bit more to that in just a little bit and for Wednesday the final uh, test I used was for a general lipstick which was a MAC uh, lip shade nukes the name of that is kind of sexy and it's a nude shade, but by the end of the day, just general wear time, it was pretty well gone. Um, all in all, this was an interesting thing to do for the week, but um, I'll share more in just a second. So, hi everybody. These were the three lipsticks that I used, and I'll start with the IGXO one first. And this was a collaboration that IGXO did with a makeup artist named Mariali. And I've discussed it in another video, but as I mentioned, this is the first time that I actually had time that I actually took the time, let's put it that way, to try out the product. So it's a basic um, liquid matte lipstick. And this was very nice. As I mentioned, the wear time was very much of a surprise to me. And that was even that I had eaten and had something to drink and all that stuff. I did like that with all the lipsticks, I didn't have any like lipstick residue on my straw or when I was eating which I like. So let me show you what it looks like. And again, it's just basically a, a, it's a dark shade for me anyways. And it's kind of like a dark berry. Let me grab my mirror really quick, which I should have thought of beforehand. So I can put it on so you guys can see what it looks like today versus what it looked like the other day. And I like this one because I usually don't like matte lipsticks because they tend to dry out my lips because I already have dry lips as it is. Oops. But um, this one worked really well. It didn't really seem to pucker. It didn't really seem to make my lips feel like extremely, extremely dry for anybody that's ever had that happen where your lips just feel like a, like a lemon rind sort of, for lack of a better term. I will admit this one did come with a, uh, lip, with a lip liner, but I've never, I've never used them and I've never really found a point in them so I forget to use it but it did come with one because it was a, a set and I will add the description to this and the other products including the price and everything below and I'm hoping to add like a little title to for each one so you guys know which one is which one but I did like this one because as I said it was very nice it wasn't matte to where it was like sticky or or drying but this is what it looks like once you put it on it's not too bad. Um, I also didn't feel that when I took it off that I had any like staining or anything. The other one from Pure Cosmetics did leave a little bit of a stain, but we'll get to that in just a second. So, and it, it was easy to remove, but I was really happy with the wear time. So, I mean, this one, if it's something that you're willing to look into and they are cruelty free and they are vegan, this uh, IGXO is. So, um, again, I'll add the information to that in the description below. So, let's move on to the Pure Cosmetics. So Pure Cosmetics, this was their Velvet Matte. And this is in shade Fever. And this was in a mystery box that um, I purchased back in May. I'm sorry, mystery bag. And as you can see, it's just a basic little matte lipstick. This one I was kind of disappointed in. I thought the color was similar to the IGXO, but it was just a little more, um, I'm not sure once again, if it's just due to the heat, because it's hot here in Southern California, um, that maybe it separated a little bit or it was just a little runny. But it just kind of seemed to bleed all over the place. So let me show you what it looks like on. And as you can see, this is what it looks like on. But it, again, it, this one seems to be a little more matte in its consistency. So even when you put it on, you can tell right away that it like adheres to your lips. 
really quickly. And the other one, the IGXO doesn't necessarily, it adheres, but it like takes time to kind of set. And this one, it seems almost like you put it on and it's like, whoosh. so it, it was good, but I was just kind of sad by the wear time. But I think I'll probably, this would be probably really good to use uh, during the winter, maybe, because it's not so hot. <laughs> maybe it'll last a little longer. But, um, so this is what the matte lipstick looks like. And again, it, it had a, a decent wear time. But once again, it, it will vary depending on your eating and drinking and things like that. But this one also didn't leave any, um, any uh, like lip prints on my stainless steel straw or anything that I was eating or drinking. So the last one will be um, one of the more expensive uh, brands. This was the the MAC matte lipstick and this came in a mystery haul that I purchased and it was one of I don't know how many that came in the package and this is the the this one's called kind of sexy and it's pretty much basically like a it's a matte lipstick but it's very very creamy which I was very surprised with and it's a sort of like a pinkish nude shade I don't know what you would really call that for me it looks nude when I put it on so let me Make sure my lips are clean and hopefully dry. Sorry, everybody. And we'll uh, put this on so you guys can see it. But this one, I was really surprised by how creamy it was. It was very, very creamy and very rich. So it's matte, but it wasn't, again, it wasn't drying. So this is what this one looks like. And as you can see, for me, it looks almost nude. It just kind of turns like a, a nude a nude shade but it's a different color this one would be kind of cool to use like as for me for like a base color and then have another color added on or to use it to lighten up a, a lipstick that i think is too dark but all in all i was really happy with it the wear time was a little so so again i think it was just maybe because it was the heat and i had been eating and stuff like that so this one probably will require touch up again during the day um but that was basically what I wanted to share with you guys. And I'll add all the information to these products in the description below and I'll show them to you again. So it was the MAC Matte Lipstick, which is this one. It was the IGXO the product and it was Pure Cosmetics Velvet Matte. So I'll blind you guys. And um, I'll add all the information to this in the description below. And let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys like this idea, um, if you guys want me to discuss other lipsticks that I own, because I have a ton of them, um, let me know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and if you like what you see. And don't forget to ring the notification bell as well, because then you guys can keep track of uh, when I post a video. So have a good day, everybody. Bye.